So you just built a new gaming PC or you just upgraded your CPU or your GPU and you want to benchmark it to see how it's comparing to before or compare it to other people's PCs. What's the best way to benchmark it for free? Well, I got you covered. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at my top five best benchmarking software that you can download right now for free. And if you wanna see more benchmarking videos or PC building videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell, that way you never miss an episode. But yeah, let's get into this benchmarking software. Now I wanna quickly clear up the difference between a stability test and a benchmark. A stability test is something like IDA64 or Prime95, where you just let your computer run it and you make sure that it doesn't get an error or crash, but a benchmark is something that you can have your computer run that will give you a very consistent score, and then you can use that score to compare it to other scores. Some people get that confused. All right, so the first benchmark on my list, which is in no particular order, is Cinebench, which you can download absolutely free from the link in the description. I'll put all of the links down there, by the way. Cinebench is one of my favorites because after it's installed, it requires zero setup, and all you have to do is click run for either the CPU or the GPU test. I really, really like Cinebench because there's no setup at the beginning which means you don't have to change any settings and you can quickly see how your CPU is comparing to other people with the exact same CPU Plus, you can really easily tell what kind of performance increase you get after overclocking. Moving on, our second benchmark on the list is the Heaven benchmark from Unigen, which has been around for almost 10 years now. This is more of a GPU benchmark, and it can also be used as a stability test after overclocking. A lot of people just let the application run and make sure their GPU stays stable, but if you hit F9 on your keyboard, it'll start a four minute long benchmark, and at the end of it, it'll give you a final FPS average and score. The thing I really don't like about Heaven is that there's a lot of settings to configure in the beginning, which just means if you're trying to test your overclock, you need to make sure that you're using the exact same settings every single time. And if you wanna compare your results online, you have to make sure that you're using the same settings that someone else did. Don't get me wrong though, having flexibility is awesome. You just have to make sure that you're setting your API, quality, anti-aliasing, and all of those other settings the same way every time. That way you can get consistent results. Next up on our list is probably my favorite out of all of these synthetic benchmarks and that's the famous 3D Mark. You can download the 3D Mark demo for free on Steam or from their website and it'll let you run some of the benchmarks, but I do have the paid version here which gives me access to some settings and more benchmarks. The recommended benchmark right now is TimeSpy, which is a DirectX 12 benchmark. Just like the rest of these, it'll measure both your CPU and GPU. The other popular ones are the Fire Strikes. They even have an Extreme and Ultra version to test those super baller PCs. What I really like about the 3D Mark benchmarks is that it breaks it down into multiple tests for the CPU and GPU, so you'll get a score for both, but then at the very end, you'll also get a total system score, which is great to compare to others. You can then take that score and compare it to other people's PCs online, and I think it's pretty cool because like Cinebench, there are no settings to configure at the beginning, so everyone is on an even playing field. It's pretty cool to know that this PC behind me is within the top 1% of all gaming PCs in the entire world. Well, at least PCs that have actually run the benchmark. Moving towards the end of the list, the fourth benchmark that I really like is simply in-game benchmarks. Now there aren't that many games out there that include them, I definitely wish they did, but there are some good titles like Far Cry 5 and Assassin's Creed Origins that include awesome benchmarks. I really like using these because they're super simple to set up, all you do is adjust the video settings that you actually want to use in-game and click benchmark, but the one thing to note about these is that the performance you get in the benchmark doesn't always represent the exact performance you'll get when actually running the game. For example, Assassin's Creed Origins is definitely a tough game to run, but the in-game benchmark is much harder to get a good score than it is just to run the game. For some reason, different games have a benchmarking tool that's harder, so just be aware of that. And finally, my fifth benchmark is to just play any game that you want and run Fraps. Just pick the game you want to test, set the in-game settings, and just simply run the game. By using Fraps, you can constantly monitor your FPS like this in the upper left-hand corner, and you can export this data to text documents so you can see your min, max, and average FPS settings. You can also combine this method with another free software like Fraps, drop the text file in there, and Fraps will then give you your average FPS 1% and 0.1% lows. This is actually exactly how I benchmark games for you guys. So to recap, these are my personal top five ways 
ways to benchmark your PC, and there are certainly plenty of other options out there. I use Cinebench, Heaven, 3D Mark, in-game benchmarks, and fraps on almost every single PC that I'm testing because I really just like the simplicity of all of them and they're very accurate. Well, that wraps up my top five benchmarking methods video. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below if there's something that I missed or another software that you want to see me dive into in another video. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel. And as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.